This is match number 14, where we pit Kazakhstan, who has yet to win a game against Korea, who is coming off a confidence-boosting victory over host country Japan in their last outing. I'm Patricia Hizan, and this is another exciting matchup here at our World Olympic Qualification Tournament, where, as you can see, Italy sits on top confidently and comfortably with their four straight wins and that Olympic berth looming and just within reach. Japan as well is doing quite well with their two wins, one loss. Korea, this will definitely be boosting them and will definitely be putting them on second spot. The Netherlands follow suit with Peru, uh, both winning two games each. Thailand has won one match, and then Kazakhstan and the Dominican Republic still looking to win their first games here in Tokyo. This is the Tokyo gymnasium that you're seeing right here with Kazakhstan already warming up for Coach Chaparan Vacheslav, he will definitely need the likes of Lumoskaya, the number seven among setters, to work doubly hard to make sure that she's able to set up uh, Anikonova really well, who's uh, one of uh, the scorers that they need to get going, even Stanova and Akilova. Radmila is one of the best spikers in town number eight amongst all the spikers. Um, uh, Beresneva also is one of those that they need to get going. Meantime, for the side of Korea, Coach Lee Jung Chul, hoping that he'll continue to get the production from Kim Yoon Kong. She is the highest scoring player with 75 points so far in this tournament, as you can see for her statistics. Number 10, Kim Yoon Kong, she is on top of that chart, but she does get a lot of help, particularly from Korea's Kim Hee Jin, who scored seven points in the last game. Kim Yong Kong, who um, also has been delivering the goods right here for for coach, absolutely. Uh, is another one that leads the players in aces. Aces was really a big story for Japan and their uh, for Korea in the last time out. But yes, for Japan because that actually uh, set the difference and really was a telltale sign for Japan's losing effort against this tough squad from Korea. And now they once again will be inspired as their flags are being honored at this juncture here at this beautiful Tokyo Metropolitan. ジムネーション。これより両国国家の演奏を行います。ご来場の皆様、ご起立、ご脱帽の上、皇族の国旗ご注目ください。Ladies and and the national anthem of the Republic of Korea.
Korea as well on the way for to fulfill their Olympic dream, something that they have done in the past and they hope to do again. And a victory here will definitely bring them a lot closer to that dream. This team all about confidence and all about those service aces in their game against Japan. Korea was able to log 11 service aces. And we talked about who those came from, but watching out for this entire squad that's made our referees. Presentation of the international referee. The first referee is Mr. Ibrahim Ahmad from Qatar. The second referee is Ms. Yui Sumien from Japan. And now we have had our wonderful officials introduced in just a short while. We will get to meet the starters from each of this squad. We talked about those service aces of Korea. It was those big serve that put Japan off the court as Korea recorded an impressive 3-1 win in their last game. And we start now by being uh, more familiar with our units that will start this battle right here for Kazakhstan. They did lack experience in closing out games, but first they must start strong. And they begin with this lineup. That includes Isayeva. Isayeva, we didn't get to see that middle blocker start in the last game. Akelova will be there also as a setter. German Schenberger, Tatko will be there. Anarbayeva will also be part of that starting unit for Coach Vacheslav. And Coach Vacheslav right here, hoping that his squad will be able to close off those Really frustrating close scores. That's what happened against Peru the last time around. They had scores like 25 23, 25 22. But now let's put our focus on Korea. We talked about the big serves of Kim Hee Jin, and she got seven of those service aces. And Kim Yong Kong, one of the best players in the world, had six of those. And you see the starting unit here. You have Hee Jin, King Kyo Hee Lee, that start things off. Uh, of course, no surprise that they will also have their best player there, Lee Jung Chul, one coach that has definitely had uh, that uh, wonderful planned out victory against Japan, boosting their uh, confidence here and their chances of getting to the Olympic Games. It was a capacity crowd for Korea yesterday, and they're playing in a uh, different kind of atmosphere. Let's see who will draw first blood as we take a look at some of these stars for Korea taking a look at Tatko on the other side for Kazakhstan and the rest of them Isayeva the very young player you're taking a look at uh, their team captain and one of the best players in the world Kim Yoon Kong we talked about how she is the best scorer she has scored 75 total points coming into this game 68 spikes a block and six serves she's also one of the best spikers number five in that category as we have our first service of this game coming from Jung Ah Park they set it up for a quick in the center right there position already scoring real quick right there first to draw blood Kim Yung Kwon that outside hitter getting the first for Korea Kim Yung Kwon definitely stepped up for coach Lee Jung Chul in that victory over Japan three sets to one as that dump over didn't work and here is Korea setting up again their top player for an easy over. Good job for that dig by German. Just couldn't get the control by Schenberger and Kim Yoon Kung scoring anew for Korea. Jong A Park earlier for that service here's German scoring and swiping it off the defenders off of Lee Hyo Hee and also Yang Yo Jin putting up the defense there German scoring the first for Kazakhstan looking for their first win here in this World Olympic qualification tournament off of 
great spin off of that service. And Schenberger, as you can take a look at that other action, that other angle, Kim Yong Kong just couldn't put a handle on that leather. This time around, she's able to receive that well and sends that to the back. And that will be for Korea's point. So all three of these points that you're seeing right here coming from their top player, Kim Yoon Kung. 28 years old, 192 centimeters in height. Here is Yang Hyo Jin, 26 year old, middle blocker for that service earlier. They go to Takko and she hits it right off the shoulders of Yang Hyo Jin. Good dime right there, coming from Akilova. Tatko with a strong finish. Oh, they had to draw out a good dig right there, coming from Kim Yo Jung. And that is just wide. Kim Yoon Kong able to dig for that, return it, and then on the other side with a Decision to send it over fast. They hit it just wide. Korea's fourth point now. This sends Hyo Hee Lee, the setter for that service. Tatko with the reception, and Arbaeva tries to save it. Tatko with a hit over and a dump over by the setter. Good job by number 11, their middle blocker, Kim Soo Ji. Twenty-eight years old, plays for Home Cook Life Insurance. Hasn't been to the Olympics, hasn't played in a World Championship situation, but she's here in one of the bigger stages that she's playing in. As they get a good break off of that wonderful service coming from number three, Lee Hyo He, and they will try to break the momentum. Talking about Kazakhstan off of that service ace right there by Korea by calling for this quick timeout as Korea put up six quick points. Волейбол начинается с чего? Приема. Ну как вы хотите играть, посмотрите. Приема нет. Одна ошибка, вторая ошибка. Kazakhstan's coach Shapran was a professional player. He played for a team from Almaty and became a champion of the Soviet Union and won the European Champions Cup twice in 1970 and 1971. He coached from 2001 to 2006, leading Kazakhstan to a silver medal finish at the 2005 Asian Championship Cup. And now these two teams from the Asian side will try to earn their spot in the Olympic Games via victories and continued success as that cross-court hit by Tatko went wide. Not good off of a timeout called by coach Shapran Vacheslav. Korea needing one point away for this technical timeout. 35-year-old Lee Hyo Hee for that service earlier. Quick over and Lee able to pancake. No, not successful. And this point will go now to Kazakhstan. Good job by Anarbaeva. Let's take a look at how she did it over the defense of Kim Soo Ji. Service by German, four to seven. They reverse it, dump it over. Good dig right there by Kilova. Or check that, that was Fendrikova. And Kazakhstan continues to score with now an error on the side of Korea. Rare to see that occasion there from one of the best players in the world, Kim Yong kung Ina German with a serve earlier. They'll send this to Kim Yong Jung and look at that power right there to make up for that earlier effort. And we are now at our first technical timeout of this game where you have Korea leading by three.
좀 조금 더 빨리빨리 움직여. 손을 좀 만들어서 몸 들어주지 않게. Korea has four attack points so far. Scored off of three of Kazakhstan's errors and a service ace earlier. And off of those four attack points, three of them came from Kim Yoon Kong. And she was able to put it away and send us to our first technical timeout. Kim Yoon Kong, much is expected of the best scorer of this tournament thus far. She's also the fifth best spiker with a 43.31% success rate. And for Kim Yoon Kong, she has played in eight different Olympic Games, nine World Championships, has had a total of 144 experiences with the national selection for Korea. And she has the most experience amongst this team right here. Ball still live, they send it over. That block is good, complete with a stare down coming from Akilova. Let's see how Akilova was able to reject that shot coming from Park Jong Ah. Tatko with the service ace. And finally, the score off of that one. With the squad from Kazakhstan scoring two in a row, they only need one more to tie Korea. Tat go with that service. And they'll let that sail off, and it's wide. Taking a look at Coach Shapran once again as they anticipate the heater. Kim Suji. They'll set this up for that left wing, but denied shot by Schenberger. Put away and stuffed right back. Take a look at how Hyo, he, Hyo Jin Yang rather, was able to do it. It's another service by Korea. They now lead by 10. Anarbayeva sends it over from the right flank. Good up right there by Fendrikova. Pass bump right there to the other side by Schenberger. Schenberger able to dig that as it penetrated the defense of Anarbayeva. Soft touch over. Good job by number 11. Earlier the kill coming from, I believe, number 14, Yang Hyo Jin. Twenty-six-year-old player that ha is playing for Hyundai Construction Club. Currently, she stands at 190, second tallest amongst players from Korea here in this tournament. Anarbayeva with a quick right down the middle. And she evaded Hyang Hyojin as she angled the other direction. Anarbayeva for service. And it's not returned, it's not returned. And now it's Kazakhstan that has the advantage in the serve department, a department that absolutely gave Korea its success against host country Japan. Here comes the attack from the left. Good job by Anarbayeva. The joust over there. Isayeva trying to take matters into her own hands. But they send that Keter all the way to the back line and it's good for number 10, Schenberger. It's down the line for the 10th point of Kazakhstan. Anarbayeva with the service. They go to the right side, good up by German. They're gonna have to set this up for an over. Oh, wow! Isayeva jumping up and down, getting a good break right here with a simple attack right there off of that bump. And that's a timeout here by Korea. 
Scoring four straight points by Kazakhstan, coach Lee Jung Chul had very little to say. This team being paced by Kim Yun Kong. Kim Hee Jin and the rest of them will need now to prepare for the service by Anarbaeva. Watch out, watch out. There comes the power now and that was a good timeout called and good response from what coach challenged them to do wide open right there for Yang Hyo Jin. Kim Hee Jin earlier for that service. They'll go to earlier. Schenberger, Dwyer, triple blocking that front line. Tough to deal with, but that went wide as Korea keeps their service. As you take a look at that action once again, they set it up, a back line attack off of, off of the defense of Akilova. And Natalia couldn't do anything to control that. Wow, again, they score back to back against Natalia Akilova right here. And Korea has scored in succession. Now 14 to 11, sending He Jin, Kim He Jin back to the service area. 25 year old middle blocker. Puts that up by Tatko. They need to control this and send it over Tatko from the back. Quick right there for the right flank, but there was a touch that they're going to be challenging that quickly. Korea not wanting to give up what possibly could be uh, another opportunity here to stretch this lead. And this challenge right here is one that you'll be seeing also at the 2016. Olympic Games, which of course, as we wait for the outcome of the challenge, will be played on the 6th to the 21st of August in Maracanã, Brazil. And here's the official review. And let's just wait that the touch has been officially logged by our technical able and professional technical group right here. And so Korea now stretches their lead 15 to 11. Kim Hee Jin with that service once again. They're going to go for a quick over, and that's down the line. That is out according to our referee. And now that's a technical timeout with that ball called out by referee Al Nama of Qatar. Korea up 16 to 11 here. What can Kazakhstan do to really put the challenge and the pressure on Korea? For this Korean squad, they are ninth in the world. They've had nine appearances in the Summer Olympics since 1964. The best result was a bronze medal, which they still are absolutely proud of and are hoping to repeat. It's been uh, since 1976 that they've stood on that winner's podium. Now, they are one of the leading squads in the world, particularly in the 70s and the 90s, and still, of course, one of the best Asian teams. They were the gold medalists in the 1994 Asian Championships in Hiroshima, and, of course, the 2014 Asian Games in Incheon. Here comes that Korean attack. That ball needs to be controlled. Fendrikova will clear that over. 
They'll set this up for that kill through the defense. It's good, though. They'll have Rosenberg, though, denied. Yo Jin Yang, that middle blocker who's 26 years old, standing at 190. Tough to beat that. Korea continues to score at will now at 17 to 11. Kazakhstan waiting to receive this tough one, and it's a service ace. And that's the second point off of service for Korea, causing this squad from Kazakhstan to call for a quick timeout. As we take a look at what transpired earlier, ball sent over to when Schenberger was not being able to face up to that attack. That service coming from Kim Hee Jin. Now the second point off of service for Korea. They've done so well with 11 total in their game against Japan. That game against Japan was a 3-1 victory for Korea. Prior to that, they lost to Italy as well. Let's see how Lee Jae-yong will be faring in this particular stretch for Korea. Now looking to further extend their lead. German puts it up. They set it for a back set. Quick right there received by Kim Yun jong Fendrikova sets it up. German for the easy over. They'll go for a quick attack right there. Cross court by Yang Kyo Jin. Is good. And it was successive attacks coming from Korea right there that's made it difficult for Tatko and company to recover. Now an eight point lead staring down at Kazakhstan, put up by Korea. And that time it's wide. And this will be a point for Kazakhstan. Opportunity now to work against this 19 12 lead. Bit of a confusion there, but Akilova will be trooping to that service area. Ninth best setter, averaging 2.27 per set. Talking about Akilova, here's the Jaws. They'll go from the back row, that approach right there by number seven. She's gonna go at it the second time. Great dig by Fendrikova. Schenberger this time, cutting it through, rips down that wall. Good play also by Fendrikova earlier, really facing up, beautiful dig. But it was Schenberger that won this last 13th point of Korea, Akilova earlier. That shot too strong, 20th for Korea out of uh, the very athletic and very busy middle blocker, Kyung Hyo Jin. Lee Jae Yong. German over the defense there early of Yang Hyo Jin from the right flank, chasing it down Fendrikova. And they'll go to Schenberger. Ball needs to be set over, they do. They'll do a quick right there for Isayeva. That's how Isayeva was able to deal with that single block coverage of Yang Hyo Jin. The joust, Isayeva behind that on the losing end for that one. Ball still alive, and unfortunately, they're not able to put that control just out. Korea wanting to put this first set away quickly. 
Good dig by Fendrikova. Is he over? They'll set up number 11 for that kill. Good showing here by the 28-year-old middle blocker, Kim Suji. As Korea will be calling in Lee So Young to replace Kim Young Kong. This 22-year-old MVP and best scorer in the 20. In a, in a previous campaign that she has joined, Lee So Young. On the floor now for Lee Jung Chul, the coach from Korea who is looking at bringing this team back to glory, but Tatko and them are not giving up, though they still face a seven point deficit. They'll try to methodically put it away as she packs the heat down the line. Isayeva grazing the net right there. The quick by Bayuna. A little over, and it was while Anarbayeva was on her way down. She had a tip on that ball. We have Lee Hyo Hee coming out and checking in. This ball game is Yum Hye Son, another setter, 25 years old has played in 25 different uh, national selection games. But looking for her first Olympic Games and World Championship games as well. Korea needing only two more points to put away set number one. Tatko couldn't control that bump. And Korea makes them pay now, set point. Good handle by Bae Yun Na. Set point for Korea. Tatko, Fendrikova. To Tatko through the defense and she keeps it alive for Kazakhstan. No request logged on that electronic table. And now they'll allow them to go through substitution. Lumoskaya checking in for German. You also have number four. That is Stanova checking in. Stanova is the 14th among spikers with a 34.33% success rate. 16th best scorer, but on the service area, that was number Nine, here's the attack from Korea. Remember, it's set point for Korea here. Oh, wow. Did you see how she soared? Bodies on the floor for Kazakhstan. But what an explosive finish here for the Korean side. Lee Jae Young winning that rally with an impressive hit coming from uh, the back line right there. And this Korean squad well in the way after that 25 to 16 battle to a great start here in this important match against this squad from Kazakhstan. This is merely the second time that they meet at a World Olympic qualification tournament. And after their fantastic performance against Japan, Korea could be uh, staring down on another win. But mind you, Kazakhstan right here is no easy team to beat. Kazakhstan, though still looking for their first win at this Olympic qualification tournament, has to work on a couple of things, but things are not looking that uh, bad as they do have three service aces, though the nine attacks is behind Korea's 15 attack scored. They need to manage their errors. They do equal Korea in blocks and at pace, not so far from the digs department there against Korea. And that is the story here so far in that first set, which Korea had control of and eventually won. And what a start this is for Korea. You're taking a look at some of the stars here that will look on to continue on their momentum from set number one.
Korea here has been paced in their 15 attack points by Kim Yun Kong with her four points. Over on the other side, top scorer so far is Katerina Tatko of Kazakhstan with three of the nine attack points registered for them. We talked about the blocks earlier and for those blocks, those all belong to Hyo Jin Yang of Korea. Over on the other side, it's Natalia Akilova who's uh, received or has been able to contribute those two block points. Other contributors for Korea in terms of attacks are So Young Lee with one attack points, Jae Young Lee with also one. Over on the other side, you're still looking for more options. You have uh, at the start, here's Danova earlier who will face up against a really tough opponent over on the other uh, corner. And that you have to watch out for Yun Kim Kong. Here we go now with the second set. <laughs> Kazakhstan looking to win some battles here and take a listen to the victorious Korean squad that's being paced, as we mentioned, by Kim Yun Kung, who now scored her fifth attack point. Schenberger with the reception. They go to Akilova just online, and that will be a point for Kazakhstan. There was a handle over there, but anyway, it was in. Their best option, having to bump that. They'll set it up here on the Kazakhstan side with Akilova going through the defense. Here's Kim Yun Kong. Kim Yun Kong is a tough one to beat. Look at her going through that defense of German and all the way to the back row. Kim Yi. That's Hyo Hee Lee by the service area earlier. They dump it over. Oh, quick right there. Ball still live, even though Kim Yoon Kung saw it differently. And this point now won by Korea. As German able to talk things through on the sideline with coach Shapran Vacheslav. Lee Hyo Hee. They'll set this up from the right side. No. That ball wide. Miscalculated hit by Stanova. And Kazakhstan only managing to score one point here. Needing to talk things through. And after that quick break, players from Kazakhstan will try to recover Stanova one of those players that will need to be relied upon. She's 16th among scorers, 28 points going into this rally. And for Coach Shapran and the rest of them, they'll need the services of everyone. Germans shot, rejected. They'll set this up for Stanova. Good dig right there by the Libero. Just too much power behind that swing coming from this impressive Kim Yon Kung. 
This team captain, the outside hitter, tallest amongst team captains in the journey, 28 years old. She's the MVP and the best scorer of the 2012 Olympics. And she also leads and inspires all the rest of these players right here who get a lift once again. An easy point there for Korea now, pacing it at 6-1 to one in the second set as uh, their top scorer gets a break, uh, something that they actually can't afford at this time. As Lee So Young checks in. Good job to put that away, Isayeva. And it was through the defense of number 12, Bayuna, that she's able to score that. Beautifully handled by Lee So Young. As she came in here replacing their top scorer, it's as if there's no drop in energy as she sends that cross court where Isayeva was for another point for Korea now, leading by five. Wow, look at that power behind that service on the right wing. From that right wing, Zanova able to score that. The young opposite spiker on that service line. Putting a handle on that one. Good job by Kaftorina earlier. Kim Hae-run. Again, Hae-run. They dump that over within reach. German with a bump earlier. Here's the other attack. Wow. So much power behind that shot by Lee Jae Young. And this is our first technical timeout in set number two, where Korea once again enjoys this 8 to 3 lead. Now, who will put up that wall? What is the answer for Korea to try to, Kazakhstan to try to put a stop on Korea? So young leader, Wing Spiker, 22 years old, has been playing particularly well. But take a look also at what Jae Young Lee, another Wing Spiker, 19 year old, has been doing for the squad. She played for the Korea national volleyball team in the 2015 Asian Women's Volleyball Championship, where they ended up with a silver medal. And these players from Korea right here looking forward to make coach Lee Jung Chul and their country proud. They pace now against Kazakhstan, 8 to 3 after that technical timeout. And you can see they're able to do that with their top scorer, Kim Yin Kung Rai the sidelines here. German with the reception quickly to Anarbayeva and that was a miscommunication, miss hit on this side of the floor. As Korea extends that lead off of the error that involved Anarbayeva. Beyuna. Anarbayeva this time though. With authority. Take a look at how she did it over the defense of Yang Yo Jin, who stands at 190. Anarbayeva, two centimeters taller than her, made her pay. Here's German with that service. They pace, and I was going to say they need the points, but right now they gave one up with that service error by German. Kim Hee Jin on the line for service. She played for the national team in the 2012 London Olympics where they finished fourth place. She's 25 years old, one of the best middle blockers, grazed that net, Anarbayeva just softly over, and they scramble, the mad scramble again, denied by Anarbayeva, and absolutely brilliant here. 
Lyudmila Anarbayeva standing 6-4. One of their best options played for Kazakhstan in the 2014 FIVB Volleyball Women's Championship was at the service area there. Here's the setup that joust. It's over on the side of Korea. Here's another attempt. Blockers doing really well. They're on fire on the net. Isayeva doing work. Here's the attack. Oh, just strong. It just echoes through the halls of this Tokyo gymnasium. Here's the attack by Jae Yong Lee. She played for the Korean team also in the 2014 AVC Cup for Women where they finished with a silver medal. This is absolutely a brilliant squad and uh, we'll continue to see their brilliance unless Kazakhstan will have anything to say about it. They have what it takes, but off of that error on the side of Kazakhstan, Korea scores anew now with 12 points, doubling the effort of Kazakhstan here so far. Lee Jae-yung again. Schenberger with the reception earlier. They dumped that over. They'll set it up for number one. Good job by Schenberger with that dig. Pass over. Lee So-young wanted it, but it was Yang Yo-jin who put it away. Let's see. Yang Yo-jin now right down the middle. Just out of reach for Stanova. Or Kavva. Torina, rather. <laughs> Kazakhstan will be calling for another timeout here. Kazakhstan is nailed to their sixth point. Meantime, Korea has scored in three successive rallies, bringing them to a 13 to 6 lead over the squad of coach Vacheslav. This team from Kazakhstan still waiting on their first win here at this WOQT tournament, 21st in the world. They've had three championship appearances, first in 2006. The best result was 15th in 2014. Let's see if they can get the best out of their squad that they have here on the floor. Apparently not, but not in that instance. service ace and this is reminiscent of what they did against Japan tough to read Schenberger couldn't get a handle on that service by Lee Jae Young a few more changes on that squad for coach Vacheslav Stanko one of their main scorers is on the floor But Tatko couldn't put a handle on that reception, and it was well played by the side of Korea, who will once again score now, leading by twin digits. It's a tough, tough break for Kazakhstan. A technical timeout with a 10-point disadvantage. Where will those points come from? For Korea, everything's been working well like a well-oiled machine. They've been getting a big boost right here from Lee. 
Jaeyun, particularly from that service area. Remember that they served Japan off the court in their last play. Imagine, in their last outing, Korea had 11 service aces to Japan's three. The final serving statistics were decisive, and it could be the same here as you have their top scorer, Kim Yoon Jung, still riding the bench there with a 10-point advantage for Korea. A luxury they can afford with Isayeva, even if Isayeva is able to dump that over. I don't see their top scorer being called in just yet, talking about Korea, Kazakhstan, needing to do a lot of work. They go to the young gun for that cross court hit, and it's good for Lee So Young. Lee So Young is hailed as the best outside spiker in the first Asian women under 23 volleyball championship, and you can see what she's made of here. Meantime, for this rally, Unfortunately, that fake from Isayeva fake didn't only the opponent, but also her teammates around her. <laughs> Yang Hyo Jin. Could this be another unreturned service? This time, Tapko made sure they're able to stop this and scores from the right front. Tatko from the weak side doing damage there, and hopefully this will start big things for Kazakhstan, who still need to overcome a 10-point disadvantage opportunity for free ball here for Kazakhstan. They won't get it. That was blocked right there by Korea, elated over what they saw. Great performance by Bayuna. Bayuna, 26 years old, 5'11", played for the Korean national team in the Asian Games where they won in the gold in Incheon. Wow, what a play coming from the young gunner in Stanova. Let's take a look at that setup job right there. Through the defense, nothing that, uh, nothing that uh, Kim Hae Run, Kim Hae Run, the libero could do about that shot from Stanova earlier. And she's gonna wait for another opportunity as quickly Korea puts that away. This is just hot hitting right here from Korea, particularly on that left side as Korea's Lee So Young buries it deep. So young coming into this game has only had five points in this tournament. And look at her go here, an opportunity for her to have extended minutes where the top player riding the bench, and it's now 21 to 19. 21 to nine, rather, here in favor of Korea still. Absolutely tremendous hitting, tremendous service points here from Korea. It's a specialty, it's really tough to handle. Just take a look at how she does it as you have Schenberger waiting to check back in to replace Tatko, and hopefully that'll give them steadiness one that they need to receive what could be the seventh serve point for Korea. They stand at six. Aner Baeva puts down anyone getting in front of that hit. Her victim that time was the outside hitter, Huang Yun Ju. <laughs> Lumoskaya checking in and also the young Zit Sitka Zenova.
Sid Casanova has yet to uh, show her prowess here in this tournament. Good dig right there. Anar Baeva sends it over. They'll set this up. Joust won. Schenberger earlier. Anar Baeva puts it up, but unfortunately, an error already will be logged. Referee Al Nama blowing his whistle with that error by Anar Baeva. Only two more points to win set number two for Korea. They have Bayun now earlier for service. Anar Baeva puts it up after it grazed the defense right there that put it right back on the floor of Kazakhstan. Here's from behind. Nothing off of that attack. But this time Anar Baeva makes a good account of herself again. Korea will be calling in Kim Soo Ji. Kim Soo Ji, 28 years old, looking to experience the Olympics. Anar Baeva, you saw her. Pressure is on Kazakhstan side. Korea's young hitters right here doing a lot of damage. Kang So Wee, that 18 year old outside hitter. Scoring it for Korea. Set point now for the Korean side. Yum Hye Sion. For service received by Schenberger. Schenberger will go at it, but the net right there, and that will be a set point win for Korea, winning the first two sets here and doing, uh, getting this victory predominantly here in the second set without Yoon, uh, Kim Yoon Kong. And Kim Yoon Kun, as you know, is lethal, but she can afford to rest. They're able to handle Kazakhstan as they've done in the past tournaments. Kazakhstan won their only meeting with Korea at a World Olympic Qualification Tournament where they recorded straight sets win. Will they be able to get that again, which is something that they did back in 2008? Korea, though, has won the last three meetings against Kazakhstan at major tournaments in straight sets. Imagine Korea won in the 2010 Asian Games semifinals, in the 2013 Asian Championships quarterfinals, and the 2015 Asian Championships first round against Kazakhstan. Look at these numbers, two straight set wins, no service aces for Kazakhstan. Logged in that last set, set number two, where Korea did a lot of that damage for uh, service aces. 10 attacks in set number two, minimized their errors as opposed to the seven of Kazakhstan. Went for four blocks there to score for them and they really are doing a stellar job handling that second set and more of this Korea-Kazakhstan match number 14 where we are midway through our competition. This is the World Olympic Qualification Tournament for Women. One of the best players in the world riding that bench, Kim Yoon Kong. Able to afford that, Lee Jung Chul, the coach of Korea, has the advantage of having a lot of efficient gunners on his side, taking care of business against Kazakhstan, who has been denied in the last three outings, this being day four of action. 
Kazakhstan has lost to the Netherlands three sets to one in the opening day. Kazakhstan went on to lose against Japan three sets straight in day two of action. Kazakhstan then lost to Peru three sets to one in their last outing. But they are hoping that somehow they're able to call on the magic that they had in 2008 when they defeated Korea in their only meeting at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. And they won that in straight sets. This time it's going to be tough with Korea already leading two sets to none. And this set is pressure packed for the side of Kazakhstan. Korea having a lot of fun in this game. They have on the floor the young Kim Suji. They also have Lee Jae-yong, who's been playing particularly well. Service for Korea here to open up our third set. And Nikolova put up earlier by Yum hee Son. And Nikolova, good job there by Lee So-young earlier. And the attack from the middle for Korea registers the first point here as we take a look at that bit of action. Back row attack combination there. Good job by the setter. Nothing that German could do to put that up. Lee Jae-yong scoring for Korea. Quick right there by Isayeva. The middle blocker gets a piece of the action. For Isayeva, standing at six feet, she played for Kazakhstan in the 2015 FIVB World Grand Prix, where they finished, though, 26. Good job right there by number six, Natalia Akilova, the most efficient setter that they have. But unfortunately, efficiency is one of those things that Korea is absolutely known for, and making a good account of herself is Huang yun -Ju. Only scored two spikes or two points off of spikes coming into this game so far in this tournament. Good job by Fendrikova earlier and Anikolova. Stanova rather, Stanova. Sanova able to put that away through the defenders. Kazakhstan going mano a mano here against Korea in the early stages of set number three. And those blockers doing work. This is more the game of Anar Baeva. Stuffs it right back. Nothing that uh, Lee Jae-yong, the outside hitter, could do anything about. She tries it from this side, gets through, but number six, Akilova earlier was there to dig that. Here's another attack. Akilova able to put that up, but before that, there was already an error on the side of Kazakhstan. Point awarded to Korea. Coach Chapran working hard from that sideline. Taking a look at Bayuna, getting ready for service. Oh, nice recovery by Kazakhstan, also by Korea in that instance. Good job by Kim Suji earlier. Send this over, set or dump, nothing there. Back set. German right there to cover it. Kim Suji again. It's not working, but they won't bail out. Huang Jun Yu able to put that away over Bei Yun. Good dig right there coming from Lee So Young. And these are some of the spills that we've been seeing right here. That's what makes this even more interesting and exciting. But putting the exclamation point of that crazy rally was Huang Yun Ju. Or rather, Lim. Uh, Nam Jin Yu over the defenders couldn't able to wasn't able to dig for that was Akilova 
Lee Jae-yong. Another point for Korea, extending their lead five to three. Service by Kim Su-ji. Fendikova earlier on the floor as German scores for Kazakhstan. Side out, Kazakhstan. Stanova on that line for service. Quickly over. Fendrinkova earlier wanting to set it up real good. Not being able to handle that side out now for Korea. And it's those errors that a team can definitely do without, a team like Kazakhstan can definitely do without, especially with an opponent as efficient, as dangerous as Korea. Both teams looking to either land in the top three or be one or the number one Asian squad to come out of this seven-day tournament. as those are the requirements for the four slots available for the Olympic Games coming out of Tokyo, Japan. They set it up from the left front. Ball still live. Good job by Fendrikova earlier. Splattered all over that, but this time, the libero on this side of the floor, Kim Hae-run, not being able to put a handle on that. as German now on the floor for service. Ina German, the middle blocker, 33-year-old. Played for Kazakhstan in the 2014 FIVB World Women's Championship. So she puts that up. Over to the other side now. Korea from the back row. That attack penetrates the defense. Fendrikova was there to cover. Schenberger's attack will be returned. That one will end right there with Kwang Yun Ju. And this is the technical timeout in uh, this set with Korea leading by three. Korea is doing particularly well. They do have a lot of options here. You saw Jae-yung Lee register her seventh point, and of course, getting a lot of support, even from the best player that they have, who's been on that sideline for quite some time, yet Korea is leading eight to five, going into this technical timeout. And they also lead two sets to none. They've had three attack points coming from Yu, uh, Yun Ju Huang, So Yung Li with four attack points. Meanwhile, for Kazakhstan, um, Isayeva with four attack points. Danova also with four attack points. You have two from German, four from Tatko, two from Schenberger, and five from Anarbayeva. Anarbayeva from the middle. Here comes number 12, and she scores for Korea, Bayuna. Korea with an opportunity here to stretch this lead further and put away Kazakhstan, who's absolutely hungry and I must say dangerous. Stanova, her, sir, or her hit earlier returned, but Korea there with, again, an effort on the part of their opponent, but doing enough right there in the middle. Bae Yun Na, their outside hitter, 26-year-old, who's had nine experiences were playing on the world stage. A rare service error here for Korea. Anarbayeva on that line, and she couldn't get to that sooner. 
She tried to chase it down as the ball was dropped beside the front liners. Let's take a look at how they did this. Lee So Young played it absolutely smart. The 22 year old getting the better of the defenders. And that is another point off of the service by Yoon. Let's take a look at how Bayou Na didn't need to get back to her spot right away. A timeout called by Kazakhstan. Korea has gotten seven points off of serves. One from So uh, Young uh, So Young Lee, two from Hyo He Lee, one from He Jin Kim, two from Jae Young Lee, and then Yuna Bai also contributing in that particular department. They go for a quick one by Schenberger. And the blockers right there, this time ready for Lee So Young. Off of the efforts of Isayeva. They scramble. Good service point right here for Kazakhstan. That and a lot more is needed. But they'll do it methodically as that service coming from Akilova is good. Count that for her as she troops back to that service area. And they let that sail wide. Back to back. Scoring for Kazakhstan puts them just within striking distance to tie Korea's 12th point here. And a quick timeout being called by Korea. They are still in the lead, but they do want to stop the momentum built here by Kazakhstan. Korea has 34 attack points so far in this game, seven block points, seven service points, and has accumulated 14 points off of their opponent's errors, scoring 62 throughout two sets and this current set that you're seeing right here where Korea has 12 points three over Kazakhstan, and you have the young players being fielded here by coach Lee Jung Chul. German sets it up. They go to Schenberger, double coverage there. They set up from that left front, answered. Lee Sung Young, a dump over. They go to Schenberger, Lee So Young. We'll go at it again denied, and this one, Kazakhstan scores. Isayeva, Stanova putting a strong fort right there, right in front of Lee So Young. From the middle. Good up by Fendrikova, getting right back up to bump that earlier. Lee So Young as Fendrikova able to let that sail out in Kazakhstan now just within one. What a battle this is, Kazakhstan has been able to catch up as Korea has Park Jun Ah coming in and she replaces Lee So Young. Not leaving anything to chance. Coach Lee Jung Chul, his team already won the two sets. And this time they are able to score through Kim Su Ji's attack. She sends that spike straight down here.
Korea ranked ninth in the world, hoping to continue on their run here in this competition, which will put them in a great position. Remember that Italy has already won all four games. Korea, with this win, can uh, eclipse the performance of Japan and in the ranking could be the top Asian team after and if they get their win here. And they are looking great with service like that. And these girls from the sideline are just having a ball. And so are the ones like Yum Kyo Seon. 25 years old, play for the Korean national team in the 2009 Asian Women's Volleyball Championship where they finished fourth there. But as that happened, it'll be opportunity for Kazakhstan now to once again trim down that lead. They came so close until Korea once again stepped on the gas. Schenberger with that service earlier. They'll set up number 13 for an easy dink over. The blockers won that. Be ready from that middle attack. Good job by Fendrikova. They will go to Stanova who puts it away. Stanova swiping it off. Kim Suji, the middle blocker, couldn't return that attack. Stanova scoring the 13th for Kazakhstan in set number three. Oh, wow. Nam Ji Yun, absolutely impressive. A technical timeout is needed now as Korea is up 16 to 13. And they've been getting a lot of boost from the sidelines, though, you see. Kim Yun Kong, one of the best in the world, working hard to keep the spirits up. For Korea, they have been getting a big boost right here from Yun Ju Huang, who now scored her fifth attack point. As in this technical timeout, Kazakhstan still working out the details. You see Kim Yun Kong going back to her corner, joining the other girls who are just keeping themselves warm for this particular game. The support cast doing everything that they can star players, all of them from Korea. Service by Park Jun Ah. Quick right there by Issa Ieva. And that went wide. Kazakhstan with a point. And a challenge for Korea there as they believe that there was a touch. Off of that last attack. As they figure out the challenge system, and as you can see, the official review right there, there was no touch clearly as Kazakhstan hopes to build some momentum here. Kazakhstan, a silver medalist in the Asian Volleyball Championships, bronze in the Asian Games in 2010 in Guangzhou, bronze in the Asian Cup in Almaty, and participated in the 2000 Olympics. They are hoping that uh, they'll be able to chalk up a win, a first if they do that. It's going to be tough against Korea, who has already won the first two sets. They set up number seven with that reverse over there. Nothing for Lee Jae-yoon. Stanova! Anarbaeva sets up Stanova over there, and that is a beautiful power alley. The spiker sends it over, and the receiving end couldn't put a handle on that after Akilova's dig went wild. And so Korea now stretches their lead anew, 17 to 15, as our officials just making sure, uh, referee Al Nama making sure that uh, everything will be in order for this service. 
Koreans have been absolutely dangerous and lethal from the service area. Kim Su Ji. Kim Su Ji could not do anything about that attack released from the Kazakhstan side as we take a look at how German was able to put that away right in front of Kim Su Ji. Astatko will check back in this game. Tatko has registered 23 points coming into this tournament, 22 from Spikes and one uh, service ace. They'll need her to keep Kazakhstan at pace with this uh, absolutely lethal Korean squad from the service area. Let's see what they can do by Lumoskaya. Oh, power hit right there from Korea from left front. Lee Jae-young able to cause damage there on the strong side substitutions Korea will uh, also have Kim Hae run on the floor and back also is Kim Hee Jin Beautiful approach by German to put that away coming from the backside of the court. Let's take a look at what she did all the way from the back through the defense there of Bei Yunna. And Kim Hae Run couldn't put a body on that ball. Here's the attack by Lee Jae Young, German. They set for Anarbayeva. Good job there by Heyrun. Ball on the side of Korea. Got up by Fendrikova. They go to Tatko. Tatko a lot of spin there. Let's see how Korea will handle. The Libero sends it over. They'll set up. Schenberger through the defense. Kazakhstan scores. We're tied at 18. What an exciting third set. First set actually was a 25 to 16 win for Korea. Second set, 25 to 11 win for Korea. Kazakhstan doing much better here in set number three, tying it at 18. Oh, Anarbayeva deciding last minute, and it was that tentative action from the frontliners. Anarbayeva included there. She. There was miscommunication. She mishit an opportunity for Korea to break into the 20th point in set number three. German put that up. They go to Schenberger. Denied! No! Those blockers from Korea, tough to handle. Look at Schenberger and Kim Hee-jin was all over that as Kazakhstan calls for a timeout. They should not, and I'm sure they'll refuse to let this slip away that easy. Twenty-five attack points for Kazakhstan, six block points, four service points, scored nine off of errors. In terms of attacks, Isayeva has four of them throughout this game. Stanova has uh, six. It's been tough to deal with Kim Hee Jin there as their middle blocker. Let's see what this side for Kazakhstan can do. Unfortunately, that service not returned. Take a look at what Lee Jae Young did and what Fendrikova could not do. Looking for service point number nine, not getting it this time. Tatko, double coverage. They're gonna go at it again through Tatko, lost the joust. That was just out of reach for German. Korea only needing three more points to win this match.
Good things happen when Lee Jae-young's on the line for service. Schenberger earlier with that attack, and they'll return that from the middle blocker. Good up by the Kazakhstan, and though that one sailed wild. And a point for Korea, only needing two more just when Kazakhstan was inching closer. Remember in that game against Peru, it was just frustrating for them to lose with close scores like 25-23 and 25-22. Then they come closer now with that service error. Rare to see Lee Jae-yong make that kind of mistake. And so Kazakhstan will have the veteran Anarbayeva on that line for service. Kazakhstan inching their way closer, Anarbayeva. Here's the attack, though. Couldn't put a handle on that from the block. Korea will continue on for their match point with the services of Kang So Hui. She scored two total points so far in this tournament, both from the service area. They're going to try to also run Kazakhstan off the court with the service. That's wide, though. That's wide. That's wide. Still, match point for Korea. Will the Kazakhstan side be able to stretch their chances here and come out with a win? Well, we have more names and substitutions on the floor. They'll be getting Stanova back on the floor. Match point for Korea. On the line, you have Akilova. Here's Korea now for the win. German puts it up. Schenberger, enough to get a free ball opportunity here for Kazakhstan. From the middle, they try to get it from Stanova. Blocked right there in the middle. Stanova still part of the action. Wow! Let's take a look at that last bit. With that attack from Park Jun Ah. What great battle we're seeing there in front. They are just on fire. Isayeva with the stuff and the point there. 21-24 still a match point for Korea. They're not out of danger yet. German, they set it up. Easy over. Number 13 goes for the attack. And Korea will win it in that manner. And what a victory that was for Korea. It was a good late surge for this Kazakhstan squad. But that surge was not enough. 25-16, 25-11, 25-21, straight sets victory for Korea. Coach Vacheslav's squad did what they could. They looked very good in that third set. They didn't have enough juice with so much firepower from Korea. And they were able to win that against Kazakhstan without getting much from Kim Yoon Kong. Kim Yoon Kong, the best scorer coming into this game, 75 total, didn't need much from her, only got maybe seven attack points from their best scorer. They didn't really expose her enough and didn't need to. And here now is a squad that has improved their standings. This team from Korea is hoping that they'll continue to win and they'll keep their Olympic dreams alive. They can win and they just win one, three matches here at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. And it's looking good for Korea with their three straight sets victory, three aces in this third set, 16 attack points, doubling the output of Kazakhstan in that department. Scored off of eight errors, three blocks there, and 12 digs really helped in Korea's campaign here in day four.
Korea, as we mentioned, lost against Italy in day number one, but then they won in straight sets against the Netherlands, went ahead to win against Japan, and then now Korea won against Kazakhstan. As we take a look at that match statistics, 41 there for Korea off of attacks. And you can see the other departments that they have there, including nine blocks. And those 41 attacks coming from Korea has been a really huge factor, really limiting also the attacks coming from Kazakhstan who were only down to 26 points but what an output this was for Korea even though Kazakhstan won their only meeting with Korea at a world qualification tournament here the second time around this Korean squad able to win back to back to back games with that victory over Kazakhstan in straight sets and what a wonderful match that we saw right here halfway through our competition